It was a sweltering summer day in Newark, New Jersey in 1964, and Philip Roth was sweating through his suit as he drove towards Princeton University to give a lecture on postmodern literature. He had prepared meticulously for the event, but his mind kept drifting towards the Cheesequake rest stop up ahead, where he planned to grab a hamburger before the lecture. As he bit into the burger, he realized that it was undercooked, but he was in a hurry and decided to eat it anyway. Big mistake. By the time he arrived at Princeton, he was doubled over in pain, desperately trying to hold back a torrent of diarrhea that threatened to erupt at any moment. He barely made it to the parking lot before it happened, and he was humiliated to see a group of rich preppy college students staring at him, their faces twisted in disgust. But instead of feeling sorry for himself, Roth felt a surge of anger and inspiration. He knew that he had a story to tell, a story about the indignities of bodily functions and the prejudices of the privileged. He would write a novel that would shock and provoke, a novel that would challenge the very foundations of the American literary establishment. He called the novel, The Shitstorm, a scathing satire of the postmodern literary scene, filled with scatological humor and biting social commentary. The novel follows a fictionalized version of Roth as he navigates the treacherous waters of academia and the publishing world, battling against the forces of conformity and mediocrity. At first, the novel is dismissed as vulgar and obscene, but soon it gains a cult following among disaffected youth and avant-garde intellectuals. The book becomes a bestseller, winning critical acclaim and numerous awards, including the Nobel Peace Prize. Roth becomes a literary icon, celebrated for his fearless honesty and his willingness to confront taboo subjects. But as his fame grows, he becomes increasingly isolated and paranoid, consumed by the very same forces he had set out to expose. In the end, The Shitstorm is not just a novel, but a manifesto, a call to arms for a new generation of writers and thinkers. It is a testament to the power of art to challenge and transform, to push beyond the limits of convention and conformity, and to expose the dark truths that lie beneath the surface of everyday life.